What the fuck is up? It is your West Coast Packer Backer. Higher point of view here to talk about. You know what the fuck we talking about. Another motherfucking victory, y'all. Come on now. What a fucking game, right? First of all, enjoy the wins. I told y'all. Enjoy all the wins because uh, as, as horrible as this game seemed at times, look at us now. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter if it's by half a point, by 20 points. I actually did say that we will win by a touchdown. We should have won by a touchdown if we would have ended it on time or at least won by a field goal. We wouldn't have even had to do that if Mason would have hit the PAT. Like, what a motherfucking game. And uh, let's just talk about this shit. Uh... Let's get let's get everybody out the way. Aaron Jones, 14 carries, about 111, 110 yards. That's efficient. Uh Devontae Adams, 11 catches for 200 and like 200 something, 200 what, eight yards? Like best in the league, man. Best in the league. He will get a Madden card on Tuesday. I'm almost guaranteeing that. You know what I'm saying? Uh just wearing that 99 like he's supposed to. You know, some of these players. They get the 99 in Madden and they don't carry it out throughout the whole year. Tay, even on his bad games, which may seem bad, they're not that bad. And, uh, like, the only close person to get catches this game against, the only other person closer in catches was A.J. Dillon. How about that? Fucking uh, 50 yards receiving by, on five catches. Other than that, it was everybody else seemed like they was getting two catches. So, like, Devontae is still the target. Everybody in the motherfucking building knows who the fuck Aaron is looking for. And this guy seems to still just know how to just get the fucking ball, man. What a fucking baller. Again, it feels so much better when you've been saying this shit for so long. I've been on the Tay bandwagon for a while. Like, I've been telling people. People know what's up. I've been telling people about him for a while, saying that he was the best in the league. He just has a knack, man. And then when you go look at his Fresno State film, you're like, well, damn, what did they miss? Because he did it there. But, uh, yeah, man, props to motherfucking Joe Barry. Hey, Kevin King ain't so bad, is he? Listen, Kevin King, good fucking game, bro. I seen you get in there and make a nasty, dirty tackle. Shit that you would have ran from previously. I seen you making plays and, and guarding your guy like you supposed to, bro. All those big plays that did happen to us, Kevin King wasn't on them. On the other side, Stokes. Yes, you did get big plays done on you before, but what? You handled, you know, you held your own against Jamar Chase. If you look at his stats, you wouldn't say he held his own, but in the critical moments, a few times where Jamar could have caught the ball, he was right there. He kind of got lucky. Or, you know, it's a game of inches, so I ain't going to say lucky. But at the end of the half, like I always say, that kind of shit is unacceptable. But in this case, Savage just missed a swipe. He just couldn't get it. He was about six inches off, and it, he couldn't get he couldn't get the, the swat down. That would have probably, we would have ended the half a lot better there. They would have got the ball back, and I think this game probably could have been, you know, could have got out of hand. I love that we ran the ball, like, Again, man, you got to run the motherfucking ball. It doesn't matter. If you get two yards, two yards, two yards, just keep running. You're going to break off of that six. You're going to break off of that 15. These big boys get tired up there. You know what I'm saying? They like to just tee off when a motherfucker's in shotgun or when they know the pass is coming. They ain't even got to look at the clock. They know Rodgers is going to run it down to zero, and they just tee off on our, on our offensive line. So that's not fair in, in those obvious, obvious, obvious passing downs. But, uh... I'm just so motherfucking happy we got the victory. And this is another game that we can get reference from, y'all. There's been many times I felt like motherfucking leaving. You know, I wasn't there, obviously. No game this week, y'all. I know I can't go to a game every week. But uh, I was starting to get dressed. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, once he missed the fucking fourth one, I'm like, okay. You know? Oh, my God. I, again, we're going to dump this in the trash. He ain't did nothing like this since Detroit. You know what? And then again, it's early in the season and Mason is going to learn from this. He'll probably think about this every time he goes up for another kick. And it wasn't the punter Bohorquez's fault. All that the snaps, the laces were the right way. He actually did the shit kind of perfect. Mason was just motherfucking off. OK, and we'll just bury that. Um, Devondre Campbell, y'all. 
Come on now. We ain't seen this in a minute. A linebacker every week causing turnovers. He got two interceptions. Not today, but he got one today. He got one, what, against San Francisco. He got a fumble recovery against Pittsburgh. Like, what does turnovers do? If you look at every game, I'm sure 80% of the games, if you look at the turnover, who won that or who didn't win a turnover battle, the one who won the turnover battle normally wins the game. You can look at every stat, every game in the NFL. You look at the turn team with more turnovers, they are normally ones that lose. Uh, I don't know exactly the turnover battle in this game, but I'm just saying in general. But what a fucking game by Campbell. Got hurt, came back in like, man, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping, man. Why y'all let us get this gym? Why y'all let us get this hidden motherfucking gym? Still got gas in his tank. This motherfucker can cover. God damn. Remember we wanted uh, Oren Burks to be this amazing cover uh, linebacker? Shout out to Oren, too. I see you out there now. There was times you weren't getting in at all. I see they giving you a chance, and Joe Barry must like you. But back to Joe Barry, man. It wasn't the defense's fault. This is what we thought would happen this game. Oh, the offense is just going to carry us the whole way. How about the defense carrying us the whole way? Even with some of the missteps that they had, they missed another tripping call. I guess motherfuckers just want to trip Rodgers. When you just so good at shit, they just want to trip you. He threw a pick. We ain't worried about that. We know that's nothing. You know, we know he tightened it up. Look, when I play Madden, I don't zero in until I throw a pick. That's when I really zero in the game. It's like, okay, we can't can't play no more, you know, or it can turn into a Saints game. But again, we haven't lost since that Saints game. And what you can say about Matt LaFleur, last time we lost to San Francisco, uh, you know, not last year because it was COVID. We beat them the year before that when we lost to them very bad, you know, our horrible West Coast trips. We went on an eight or nine game winning streak after that. After week one, I told you guys, it was just it was just something that just happened. And it does happen. And it just happened to happen week one. That shit ain't going to happen all the time. We are too good of a team. And we're still working with spare parts. Josh Myers, starting center, rookie sensation, didn't even play. Bro, shout out to motherfucking Adam Stenovich, our offensive line coach. This motherfucker, they already talking about he's going to start getting interviews for a head coaching job. That's how good he is. But look at this nigga, man. Look what he's done this year with the offensive line, bro. We ain't had David since day one. We get the great Elton in there at left tackle. That's no problem. He goes out. We throw Yash in there. Like, yo, kudos to the motherfucking offensive line, bro. Kudos to Billy Turner keeping the motherfucking steady in there. Just, you know, because I've been critical of him before, but Billy Turner... You held that shit down, and A-Rod had a lot of motherfucking time, man. The sacks he probably did get was, like, him just trying to move around, and he runs in the sacks sometimes, but, like, O-line, good shit. T.J. Slayton, there was a T.J. Slayton sighting, you guys. A motherfucking sack for the big guy. Probably a half a sack he got in there with, with the other, uh, you know, other boy, whatever his name is right now. Can't, can't figure it out. But, uh... Yeah, man, this is like, this was a complete game, man. We had a little bit of everything in this game. And we went overtime, lost the fucking coin toss, and still won. You know, how many times do we remember as Packer fans of Super Aaron Rodgers mode, saves us the whole game. We shouldn't be in certain games, not this game, but other games. And we end up taking it to overtime. They win the coin flip, and they just score immediately. Defense said, nah, we're not having that, man. So, like, hey. Props to the motherfucking defense. Y'all want to be critical all the time? Y'all want to talk shit about the defense, our corners, whatever the fuck, Jair's down, this and that? Look what the fuck we did. And I just really love the work that Eric Stokes is getting. This motherfucker, the way they testing him and throwing at him, he'll be a vet by week eight. This motherfucker's getting so much burn, and it's really good because he has to keep a lot of these plays in his photographic memory so he can know what he can and what he can't do because he's learning right now. He's a rookie. But what he did, he said, this y'all number one guy, I'm going to guard him. Kevin King wasn't on Jamar Chase. And again, Jamar Chase is all world, had a great-ass game, but Stokes handled that nigga in, in college too, you know, at Georgia. Don't, don't think he didn't. So, you know. He didn't handle him, but, you know, he's familiar with him, and he had a, a decent game against him. I believe that game he did get an interception. I'm not positive, but uh, shout-out to motherfucking everybody, too. Y'all know who the fuck y'all is. Uh, shout-out to Lil Hefe. He be talking that shit in them comments. Shit, shout-out to Adam James. I seen him talk, he talking shit, too. Hey, motherfucker want to talk about us? Talk that shit right back. Let him know. You know what I'm saying? 
all right, I got people already telling me, oh, your kicker sucks. You, you, you got lucky. Hey, call it what you want. We, what, what we get? What we get, though? Who will we get, though? We got that victory, so it really don't matter. And again, at the end of the day, how much worse will we feel right now if this was a loss? We'd be saying shoulda, coulda, woulda about five times. How many kicks did he miss? He didn't even make a... He missed an extra point. Whoa. I don't know if him and his wife got in an argument or some shit. If he in a doghouse right now at home. There's something awful, Mason. But we're going to throw this shit down. Throw this shit down the garbage. Throw it away and uh, forget about it, just like we did with Detroit. It was just one of them fucking games. But, uh, whoa, just just happy to grab that victory. So, again, like I told y'all, enjoy these victories, man. Let's keep piling these motherfuckers up before you look up and know, you know, 12 and 4. I mean, I mean, we, this new shit still got me fucked up with the records. 13 and 4. Yeah. So, you know. That's that's what we looking at right now, and uh, shout out uh, shout out to to Jonathan the Great. Shout out to everybody, Ranton Packers fan, all my people. What up, Nate? What's happening, bro? Uh, shit, but I feel like I'm forgetting something. But uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna leave y'all with that. I'm gonna leave y'all with this. What a motherfucking victory, man! Just keep piling these motherfuckers up, and then we're gonna be in a tournament, man. And we still running north, okay? So uh. Yeah. Go, pack, go. Go, pack, go.